Believe it or not, but with the right species of bamboo, you can make fire not through friction, but through percussion. This is a little known technique, and it might sound far-fetched, but if you strike a piece of bamboo with a hard glassy rock, or piece of broken porcelain, you can produce sparks that are hot enough to make fire. Alfred Russell Wallace records this remarkable technique in his journal, The Malay Archipelago, and a few years ago, I journeyed to the very village he had visited in the 1860s in order to track it down. The islands of West Papua are not quite as cut off as they were in Wallace's day, but even so, I still found it being employed. This prompted me to conduct further research upon my return to Britain. I've since discovered that it was used in a wide range of places, all the way from mainland Asia to the great island of New Guinea and many places in between. One such place was the Philippines, and in some of the remoter parts of this archipelago, it is also still employed. As I was here, I thought I'd demonstrate how it's done. And this is the bamboo that I'm after. This is a species under the genus of Schizostachum, under which there are many different species. But this one works really well. This is Schizostachum lima. And here in the Philippines, it's known as Buho. So I'm going to go ahead and collect some. Now, it can be quite tricky to recognize these species of bamboo, the individual species. But what they tend to have in common is a rough exterior. And you feel the outside. It's almost like fine emery paper. And um, so it's different to other, other types of bamboo. The other thing to look for is a bamboo where the nodes are further apart than on uh, many other species of bamboo. Here on this piece, you can even see it's about a meter apart. And that's common with this, this particular species and generally across the genus of Schizostachy. Um So I've collected this piece and this is what native people traditionally would have done. They would have collected a piece here, green, but it's still living, it's still got some integrity. And they would have taken that back home uh, to their houses, to their camps, and dried it out. It can only be used when it's dry. I've tried many times to get a spark from when it's, when it's damp like this, to no avail. So it needs to be dry. Here is a dry piece that I cut a few weeks ago. This has been drying in the sun, just about a month old and um, same species but you can see now it's, it's turned uh, brown from green and I'm getting really good sparks of this. Here are the other components of the set. These are strikers and as you can see this is an old piece of porcelain, piece of old broken plate. Native people make really good use of, of this um, and of course before the arrival of porcelain in China many many years ago people used stone. Any glassy rock works really well, so chert, flint, quartz, things like that. Uh, and that's struck against the bamboo. The other key ingredient alongside the, the bamboo itself is the tinder, of course. And the tinder here is also found in the jungle. This is the palm scurf. It's a fluffy material that's found on the trunks and on the leaves of the cariota palm, which is also known as a fishtail palm. Some people to enhance the tinder's performance would add charred material to it to increase its combustibility. People would burn pandanus leaves or coconut fibres or even just use ash in their fire and they would mix it with this scurf to create this, this kind of charred material. It's very fibrous, very fine and it works perfectly. So the process of lighting this is to choose a nice area on the buho, uh, and you have to experiment a bit with the striker, just see where you're getting the best sparks. You need to take a little bit of tinder, just take a pinch for, and it works rather like when you're lighting char cloth or something with a flint and steel, it's very similar, you're just trying to catch a spark. So I take a, a little pinch of tinder and I put it close to the edge. Sometimes what I even do is I 
pop another piece of porcelain on the top because it's, it's better than my thumb at holding this. It's different to charcoal, it's quite a uh, crumbly material, so it just helps. So you see a pinching on top. So when I strike this, hopefully the spark is going to land on there. And then we can move on to making a flame. And there we go. You can see it's extremely good tinder because those sparks, they're small and they're relatively cool as well. And you can see that growing up. And that's all I need to do, just need to encourage it. And native people, obviously, now they could light a cigarette if they were smoking, or if they required a fire, they could put it into, into some coconut husk or some similar tinder, and in the usual way, blow it into flame. An amazing skill.